In this demonstration, you'll learn how to import custom STL services into your case, imprint them into the existing mesh, and use them for qualitative and quantitative analyses of your simulation results. Importing STL services gives you the flexibility to perform post-processing activities on arbitrary surfaces without decomposing the geometry or mesh of your design. Let me show you how to import STL surfaces into the previously solved case of a mixed flow situation in which hot and cold air jet streams enter a simple pipe manifold, mix in the flow conveying pipe, and then exit through two outlets. After completing the simulation of the flow in the manifold, I want to compute additional flow field quantities and examine the field variables on the internal surfaces. I'll use ANSYS Design Modeler to visualize the details of the case geometry. For example, I want to examine the contours of temperature on the large pipe cross-section in this location and also generate surface integral reports for these two curved surfaces where the smaller pipes are attached to the main pipe. In Fluent, I can create a plane surface at a pipe cross-section and use it for visualizing or plotting results and generating reports for the flow field data. However, I cannot easily create surfaces of complex shapes such as the curved surfaces formed by the intersections of the pipes. For this purpose, I'm going to import STL surfaces that represent the internal surfaces of interest into my case. Such surfaces could be created and then exported as a single STL file using a CAD package. The surfaces that can be imported into Fluent cannot be free-floating, but must be bounded by the existing geometry. Before importing STL surfaces into a running Fluent session, I need to save case and data files of a completed simulation. To import and then imprint STL surfaces, I'll go to Surface, Imprint. From the Imprint Surface dialog box, I'll browse to the STL file that I want to import. Note that the STL file path cannot contain spaces. If you want to scale the STL surfaces, you can use the drop-down list called Mesh Was Created In. Once I click OK, the STL surfaces are automatically imported into my case and appear under Imported Surfaces. The imported surfaces are geometric objects that are not connected to the model mesh. I can display them, however they cannot yet be used for post-processing solution results. To make the imported STL surfaces available for post-processing, I need to imprint them into the existing mesh. I'll select the first surface to imprint. By default, Fluent appends the word imprint to the imported STL surface names. Once I click Create, an imprinted surface is created. The surface coincides with the selected imported surface. Once the surface has been imprinted into the current mesh, it becomes available for post-processing and appears along with other surfaces in post-processing dialog boxes under Surfaces. Next, I'll imprint the other two surfaces. Now I'll display the contours of temperature on the imprinted cross-section surface. The new imprinted surface named Cross-Section Imprint coincides with the plane that I created earlier in Fluent. When I display contours on the imprinted surface, Fluent interpolates the solution values onto the surface. As you can see, the contours of temperature on the imprinted surface are identical to those on the plane cross-section. In a similar manner, I can visualize contours of local velocity magnitudes on the imprinted curved surface where the small outlet pipe is attached to the main pipe. I can also compute integral quantities over the imprinted surfaces and report them in the usual way using the Surface Integrals dialog box. For example, I can generate a numerical report for the mass-weighted average of the temperature at the surface where the small inlet pipe joins the large pipe. Or for the mass flow rate through the surface where the small outlet pipe is attached to the large pipe. That concludes this demonstration on how to import STL surfaces into ANSYS Fluent and use them for qualitative and quantitative analyses of simulation results.